Hello, Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you for being here. We're going to be looking at what is your current energy and what spirit wants you to know in regards to your love situation. But look, anything that's going to pop up in the cards, I'm going to be relaying over to you. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and also Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but also if you're dealing with um, a fire sign, this is definitely going to be helpful for you. So um, let's jump into this and have a look uh, what comes up here for you, fire signs. Um, as of now, okay, the sun card, beautiful card of Major Arcana, okay, Emperor, Strong Aries, um, energy okay justice we've got a libra potentially okay overall i feel like um the things that are happening around you right now are setting you up for the future it's almost like the universe is preparing you for something quite um quite intense here uh, that's going to take place so this is pretty big okay you've got that sun you've got the emperor um you've got the justice card i feel like something about an outcome uh is coming up or i feel like you're going to get a response or an answer but i almost feel like it's something you've been waiting for fire sign so i feel like a lot of you are about to make something official you might even be legalizing something here really solidifying um some big things here for yourself so i mean it, it's looking pretty good it's looking rather exciting so um look aries you've your energy is definitely coming out very strongly for this reading um but like i said you've got a libra taurus and aries that's coming through here so if you're dealing with one of these signs you will definitely be feeling these energies um look strong fire cards fire cards the tower ten of wands uh, the sun the emperor the two of wands and the three of wands okay if you're dealing with a fire sign those that are dealing with fire energy um i feel like there's something big that's about to take place that could change your future together okay i also get like there may be a fire sign coming from further afield like through uh, online you know the dating thing dating online meeting someone through friends or travel even i feel like someone it's a kind of foreign link or a foreign energy but it's super super exciting so i feel like some of you may have a bit of a bit of a fling here but i feel like this person has either been distant or is coming to you from a distance it's one of those two things mm. okay so it's the distance thing coming to and from a distance but i get with the tower card okay there is definitely a fire sign if you're dealing with this fire sign they're definitely feeling like things are getting intense okay i get a sense that things are getting really serious quite quickly um and it, it's a bit tough for them for some reason i feel like they might have had a devastating blow in their previous relationship so they're scared history is going to repeat itself so my inkling is it's that it's a protective um it's a protective kind of energy coming from them uh it's their way of trying to protect themselves trying to protect themselves in the moment or protect themselves in this relationship so yeah i get a sense they've got their guard up if, if they do have their guard up which i think they do it's because of that um okay it's like it's like the two of you are having a stare off you've actually met your match in this in this person so you're super super stubborn you're gonna have to work around this fire signs otherwise it's just gonna be the same thing happening over and over again so um, something needs to be worked through here between yourself and this person. Um, okay, to those that are dealing with an air sign, this person has come up as justice, ace of swords, ten of swords. Um, there's been some pain or some hurt in between, uh, between yourself and an air sign, and I feel like this air sign is definitely hurting. Spirit wants you to know that this person is feeling hurt or is feeling betrayed by you. But regardless of that, I feel like they're going to come out and try to fight through these feelings, meaning 
they don't want to walk away just yet. They'll want to continue to work through what you've got and work through the issues because that's how much they're willing to fight for the relationship. So, you know, if there's been like transgressions, there's been things going on, I actually see this person fighting for you and I see them fighting for the relationship. Now, it could also be a new air energy coming up completely. So I feel like there is, for some of you, a destined new person who is really dominated by air, dominated by Libra and energy. So it's a super romantic kind of person or it's someone who's going to be telling you very, very romantic things. Um, this person is coming from a painful past. So be, be patient with them because they're still trying to like you know, maybe they haven't dated in a while, like they're trying to get themselves back into, um, they're trying to get themselves back into this kind of love energy. Uh, and that's, that's going to take time. So it's important to be, be patient, be patient with this individual. That's what they're wanting from you. They're definitely into you then. And, and I really feel like they're going to communicate. All these butterflies are telling me there's multiple, multiple calls or messages or communication exchanges between you and this person very, very soon or around this time currently. Um, okay, who are we on? We are on, let's go Earth. If you're dealing with an Earth sign, Okay, Earth sign has come up, King of Pentacles, strong Taurus energy. Um, Taurus ruled by Libra, uh, Taurus ruled by Venus, sorry. Funnily enough, you've got strong Venus energy around your fire signs, Justice and, sorry, Libra, Taurus, both ruled by Venus. Interesting. Um, there's definitely a link here. You're definitely entering a romantic phase, um, a Venus phase. Um, but where was I? Okay, they're coming up as a king of pentacles. Okay, earth sign here is wanting stability with you. Okay, I feel like someone wants to stand still. They sort of want to go slow. They might want to slow down a little bit, but I think it's for the best. It's because they're starting to think more seriously uh, about you and about the connection. Um, I feel like I'm kind of sensing they're going to do something traditional for you. So they may have an idea. They may want to do a gesture of some kind. Um, I get something about tradition is very important to this person. You know, they might tell you that they want to do something that's really important to them or their family or their cultural origin and they'll want to include you. It's almost like they're going to introduce you to this new world and this is because they slowly want to see how you'd adapt into their world. So, yeah, they obviously want to see um, how this will develop and how things will go. So they're, they're keen as a being. Um, but I also get that there may be an earth sign you're working with or someone that you've known. Somehow you work together, you met this person through a work colleague. I'm getting like a work fling or a work romance and this person wants to make it a little bit more serious than what it's been lately. So expect some sort of offer, I think, trying to take you out, trying to make things more serious. Um, letting the workplace know that you guys are hooking up, that you're together. I feel like they'll, they'll want to expose it. I do. Okay, so fire, earth, air, water. Okay. Dealing with a water sign, this person is the queen of cups and ten of cups. They're absolutely falling for you. Like this person, ever since they met you, ever since you connected, they are just in this euphoric energy. Okay, you've been driving them crazy and they are getting their needs met in you. Now, the Queen of Cups is there's a water sign falling for you quicker than I think you're falling for them. Now, not surprising, water signs tend to have really, really big hearts. I'm getting a strong Pisces link. So this person is becoming more sensitive. So you might notice them being more emotionally reactive to things. You know, they might be bothered by the comments you say or they might be more offended than they previously were. And you're probably like, wait a minute, what's this person doing? Like, they're super sensitive, they're super weepy. They could even be mopey around you. I'm telling you, it's because they're starting to fall for you. And that's how water signs tend to get. But you know what? It's kind of a good thing because then you know, all right, this person's into me. Because if they didn't care, they wouldn't, they wouldn't react this way. You know, and it can be really beautiful. I, I, I love water signs romantically. Um, they can really make you feel really special. And 
they're at poor of emotions like take it as reassurance that they're into you that they want love from you so you know that's that's how you've got to read um that's how you've got to read their energy right you have to you have to um appreciate it for what uh for what it is and how they're coming forward absolutely um let's have a look at what spirit wants you to know what's the advice here for you Okay, Knight of Cups, Three Cards, Knight of Cups, King of Cups, and the Empress. Okay, Strong Water Energy. So we've got the King of Cups, the uh, Knight, the King is Strong Pisces Energy again. So I feel like uh, the love is coming in many different forms, and I think it's going to take on deeper, deeper meaning to you than it has before. But to literally move from the knight to the king, this isn't this is an upgrade of love, and I feel like something you've been chasing that you felt was unattainable or you felt like you couldn't get with this person, this is about to change. And I told you, you know, you have that shapeshifter energy, the justice, we've got an answer, we've got a response. So this is this person answering your call, this is spirit answering your call, this is all coming to fruition here, and especially in the physical. You know, I see the Empress as a strong earth sign, um, and it's like a moth to a flame, so I feel like things, people, experiences are going to be drawn to you, um, because it's all part of the bigger picture here, so I, I, I love I really do love that this has come up because I feel like, again, Empress is a very Venus energy. So she rules Libra and Taurus. So the fact that she's come up, again, strong Venus energy, it's almost like daddy, uh, it's almost like no denying this, right? There's like no way you can go. I also feel like there's a very rare event happening in your life around this time frame. So look out, a very rare person, a very rare experience. It's something that's really, really going to stand out to you here and absolutely change things for you um, romantically. So really, really beautiful energy in terms of this um in terms of this water energy, this love situation here, which is absolutely beautiful, and you know, to go from, I really feel like there's that queen, and you see how we see the queen and the king of cups as a relationship that's forming, and it's like you're both coming in with the same love energy uh, towards each other here. So this mutuality is just really, really profound. Um, and I really feel like things you dreamed of, because Pisces is connected to dreaming, it's like things you've dreamed of, in this relationship and to have together is actually coming to fruition you know you've got that ten of cups here so this is very powerful in itself it speaks volumes of finding this happily ever after like embracing love in your arms and having it in the physical realm lots and lots of beauty with that empress you know attraction spoke about that moth to that flame kind of energy it's just almost magnetic and it's happening for you so really really happy for you but i'm gonna leave it there so thank you again everyone uh, for dropping by please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um and if you'd like a private reading with me please email me and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can um and depending on availability we can go ahead and book something in for you um Otherwise, I really, really do want to say thank you. Uh, it's been um, amazing watching the channel grow. So thank you so much for being a part of it and for checking in here and there oh, all the time. Um, and I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. So much love and bye for now.